a Canton police officer with ties to the Karen Reed investigation is now on paid leave. Officer Kevin Albert is the brother of the owner of the home where John O'Keefe was found dead. The Canton police chief says that Albert was put on leave related to the testimony of Trooper Michael Proctor, the lead investigator during the Reed case. Interestingly, Albert was put on leave back on June 13th, but it only came to light tonight. And now the state police union is defending Trooper Proctor, saying they are, quote, disappointed that he was suspended without pay for his inappropriate text messages revealed during the trial. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa explains this new fallout from the closely watched case. Tonight, it's a hot topic in Canton. Police practices and, of course, Trooper Michael Proctor. Plus, a bombshell announcement about another law enforcement officer connected to the Reed case. I haven't broken it. No, no, no. You're kicking it too. In the midst of the drama over time limits, at the top of mind for Karen Reed supporters at the Canton Select Board meeting, it's town policing and the murder case lead investigator, Trooper Michael Proctor. He's now been suspended without pay after sending offensive texts about Reed to his colleagues, family and friends during the investigation. He deserves to be terminated and we need to rid our policing systems of all Michael Proctors. During the meeting, though, a surprise announcement. Chief Rafferty has placed Kevin Albert on paid administrative leave while an outside and please be quiet. The Canton police chief now says Kevin Albert, a Canton police officer and brother to Brian Albert, the homeowner where John O'Keefe's body was found, is now on paid administrative leave. Kevin Albert was placed on leave on June 13th and will remain on leave until the results of the investigation are provided by the outside independent investigator. And then a public apology from another Albert brother, Chris. He's a select board member and a witness in the retrial who had recent verbal arguments with people. Despite the tremendous harassment, stress, and anxiety that my family, extended family, and I have been subjected to over the past 16 months, my interactions were inappropriate, and as an elected official, I am held to a higher standard. Meanwhile, the state police union is defending Proctor, saying in a statement in part, the decision to suspend him without pay pending the outcome of the investigation is disappointing because it shifts Trooper Proctor's punishment to his young family. His children will lose access to benefits such as health insurance. You have to understand that some of the conduct uh, is in direct violation of department rules and regulations. So things like sharing state police business is a violation. Todd McGee is a retired Massachusetts state trooper with 24 years on the job. He says it's still the union's job to defend Proctor, but he offers this insight on the process for disciplinary actions. The department has high expectations of all of its members to have the utmost integrity and to maintain that level of confidentiality about police business, especially in a high profile case. Now there's a state police internal affairs investigation that'll determine if Proctor will ever return to the job. In Canton, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you.